What is up everybody? It's Joe from Jailery Games coming at you with another cool video. We're back in Planet Coaster in our challenge park, Wind Valley Park. In episode 2 today, we are going to be working on our year 2 investment. So right now we're in year 1. We're going to be working on year two for uh, our new investment for year number 2. So our biggest complaint, I guess we could say, from our guests is that we need more we need more rides you know um and that wild blue is too expensive so the first thing we're gonna do is actually tick down by 50 cents wild blue maybe that'll help with the complaints of that being too expensive and it might even bring in more guests to ride and actually give us a little bit more profit potentially so let's see uh, of course our shops and facilities was our biggest downfall last month. And I think it's probably because of the restrooms also take up a lot of that as well because it also loses about $80, $89.59 a month. But we gotta make our ultimate choice of what do we wanna build next? And that is going to be a roller coaster. You can't have a park without a roller coaster. So that is gonna be our big challenge for year number two year number two is going to be our first roller coaster in the park's history so it's going to be very important that we get this right <clears throat> and we create a solid ride so now we want this ride to be open by march of year two so we better get started on our construction for the ride and i think it's going to be awesome <clears throat> one vision i have is in this back little area we could have a nice little wooden coaster go back through here and you can see it at the entrance you'll be seeing it rising over the top in the middle of the area and it would be a nice addition for the park to get started so the first thing we're going to need to do is clear out some land so let's prep our land let's get some construction going out over here and the first thing we're going to want to build is our coaster station so let's go ahead and make a little sign here so our guests might have an idea of what's happening. I'll just say, don't look behind this. <clears throat> it's a basic teaser that's not really going to say, it's just basically saying, hey, we're building something. All right, so we want to have a basic wooden coaster. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, and we don't have the monster wooden coaster. We just have the Zephyrus. So we're going to go old school here which is totally fine. We can update it later if we want to. Let's go ahead and make entrance one way, exit the other. Hopefully we'll get a nice view of that coaster in the background. It doesn't have to be completely centered, but that, and that's okay. So our first thing is down and that's $1,800. So let's see how we're looking on construction costs. We have spent $1,600 already, just alone on the station. <clears throat> So we're gonna get started on this construction right away as this coaster is now officially under construction i kind of want to get around the 60 foot range something at a pretty good height so a little over 60 feet and let's go ahead and bend that just a little bit at the top so now guests can see that something is definitely being built. <coughs> now I do want to have some good capacity on this coaster. So what we're going to do is make a block section for the back. All right, to start things off, we're going to go down this hill all the way to the bottom. It's going to take every part of that hill to get to the bottom. Let's go ahead and smooth out that drop. It's around a 49 degree angle. A fairly decent drop off there <clears throat> now that we're kind of in an idea of how much this is completely going to cost we might want to rethink the the costs here so so we're going to make this investment a little bit bigger than we initially planned and that's all right
make sure we have a sturdy station and look at that looking quite nice right there and you can see we're down to twenty three hundred dollars so let's see how much we've built so far so we've got 39.87 and 1845 so we're doing pretty good let's go ahead and raise our ticket sales to seven and four there <clears throat> Well, we're going to go back over here and make sure that that's not too expensive, that people are still coming in. And look at that coaster in the background. That looks great. For that, how did our shops do? I didn't look on how our shops were doing. So they still made negative, but not as bad. Shop sales. It's already a much better month overall and you can see it's may 16th so we need to keep building because we want to make sure we have plenty of time to build <clears throat> but we also got to watch out for our funding too i would hate to have to make the or delay the coaster for a year three opening So I want this ride to have a little bit of length to it, as much as we can do. So let's take a look actually at our challenges, because no entertainer leaves for two months. We should be getting that one soon, as long as our staff is still happy. If we look at our staff, they're all still in good spirits, so we don't have any entertainers leaving. So that's a thing to note that we might be going over a $10,000 budget as well. All right, let's go ahead while we're doing this. Let's get started on our queue line as well. We want to get stuff started here. Kind of progressing. So like we want to get our queue line in as well as other stuff. Got some good construction going on right now. This coaster is going to be fire. Not a literal fire, but it's going to be awesome. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more support. And we got some nice wall pieces to choose from. I want to have like a ledge piece that will serve well as kind of like a fencing for the ride. All right, so we got a queue line, we got an exit, we've got a station that is actually looking pretty close to being done. I mean, it's not like done done, but it's it's actually already on its way. Look at that. And we're going to start by adding some more fences here. Just kind of like some some of these regular fences that are gonna go right here because obviously these are also gonna be known as our perimeter fences as well. So basically we're gonna go this way and then we have a little space for like some foliage there or something that can make it look presentable. We're making pretty good time on the ride. Obviously we gotta we gotta go in and finish up the ride itself. <clears throat> but I think we're making pretty good time when it comes to like scenery pathing and and all that stuff The only thing I'm the, the if I have any concerns, it's gonna be um, our, 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 our costs Because obviously the costs are going up and we're Limited on how much money we have at a time. So we're already at about fifteen hundred dollars right now <clears throat> And that number's steadily going down as we build more so we got to keep an eye on that It's already June 21st. We're not in too much of profits right now, so that's kind of a little bit concerning at this point. 
Let me see what's going on here. Why aren't we making as much money? Why aren't we selling as many rides and tickets? I don't know if any of the rides go down, but if the rides go down, we are in big trouble if a ride goes down. <clears throat> now we could do some minor stuff, like maybe some scenery stuff that's not gonna cost too much as we go, and hopefully <clears throat> we can do something like that. Like maybe place a little bit of foliage here. Because these only cost these bushes cost two dollars and something we can add into the station is going to be some lamps or lighting over overhead to light up the station a bit so let's go ahead and do that now i like these lanterns a lot and this is going to light up our station how much of those cost each six dollars each so not too bad there we go that's looking pretty fire all right, where are we at now? Again, this month has been very, very poor, and I'm hoping we can get that challenge done and maybe get a little extra cash to use for the coaster. Because if we can get this, I don't know what the reward is for the challenge, but if we can get that, we'll get a little extra cash in our pocket because we can't get the coaster one until um, we open the ride. So that's not going to be a good thing for us. Let's check on our staff, see how they're doing. See, our entertainer has not left, but I'm guessing you have to have multiple entertainers. The shops always seem to struggle to make a profit for some reason, and I'm not sure why. They always seem pretty busy. You can see last month's profit is 4.29, 11.15 or 1.15, so they're still making pro they're making good money. So I wonder why on our stats there it's saying they're not making a profit. Oh wow. Running cost is 750. It could be because of the capacity. Running cost change. All right, so that actually does make a huge difference. I didn't think that was going to be a big difference, but that actually is. This is going to cost us money, but in the end, we're going to save more money. All right, let's go ahead and add a little bit of an airtime hill. I know I don't want to drop under a thousand dollars, but we do have to make a little bit of progress. We're down to 853 dollars. That was almost 500 dollars in construction right there. Airtime is key, though. Airtime is key. All right. So what are we gonna want to do here? We do need to come up with a name for this ride too, and some sort of theming maybe. That's also gonna be something that we need to worry about. So we're gonna give this its own little cover size let's turn that down all right that's nice since we don't have a transfer track we're not gonna have a transfer track for this ride we have to have something covering up the second train that way it stays nice and uh, dry in case we have some inclement weather come in so one of the big challenges, of course, is going to be able to have this ride be over 1,600 feet long. So I do want to have a little bit of length to it, and I want to make sure we try and hit that goal. But we can see this starting to come together. It's looking great. I'm excited. Hope you're excited too. Look at this. All right, so I'm going to create a little tiny spot right here. As that. We are going to have this block sectioned as well. We're going to have two train operation for this ride. All right, a few things we can start is maybe adding, let's start off with adding some lamp posts to our queue line. That way we can start getting our queue line a little bit of scenery rating. That's something we're going to want. Look at that. Now that's a nice lit, lit up uh, queue line right now looking pretty pretty solid pretty pretty good all right so we're gonna have to continue this uh, this wall here there we go <coughs> and let's go ahead and start building it this way oh, I'm loving this 
You can see our entrance is going to start shaping up right there. So our profits are still very minimal at this point. And of course, we can always make changes to try and maximize our profits a little bit. But overall, <clears throat> you know, not too bad. I think we got a good coaster going. It's gonna have some decent length for our f first coaster too. It's got a pretty good solid height to it at 65 feet tall. It's got a pretty solid first drop. For our first coaster, I think we're doing pretty good. Chief Beef out here with his, um, with his restaurant, his booth. So these shops are actually bringing in quite a bit of money, so that's good. Quite a few hundred dollars. But they haven't been able to overcome the, uh, the staff building, unfortunately. All right, let's go to our queue line. Let's try and get this baby connected. There we go. And we have a actual queue line. All right, it is August 14th. And I think it's time for an announcement day. What are we gonna call this ride? Let's call it um, Thunder Jolt. That's a pretty generic name. I like it. Alrighty, folks. I hope you're excited as much as I am. And if you haven't been able to see yet, we have obviously been working on something. We've been building something for you guys. I'm proud to announce that we're building our first roller coaster here at Wind Valley Park, ready to open for next season. For our second season of operation. It's been under construction now for quite a few months, and we're making some good progress. As you guys continue to support this park and make it the best park it can be we're re willing to give you that ex premium park experience by adding a roller coaster wind valley park is proud to announce thunder jolt which will be opening next year <clears throat> we're excited just as much as you are Let's get some uh, reshade in there. I want to get some nice shots of the of the ride. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's go. All right, we're over a thousand dollars in our money again, so that's good. We're doing. We're having a we're having a pretty solid start to the month. We're halfway through. We're already almost at six hundred dollars, so that's a good sign. The good thing is, is after we build this, we'll hopefully haul in quite a bit of cash. Um, once we haul in all, all that cash, we're going to probably take an off-season, because this is a big investment year. We'll probably take an off-season to, you know, make some park improvements, do some minor things, make the park good, maybe even add another shop, we'll see. I might do some re research for that season while we're making some more money. Now... We don't have a whole lot to do left on the construction track work. As you can see, the construction costs were already up to $800. Almost $900, actually. <clears throat> so we spent a lot in construction again this month. All right, so we're going to work on a couple of track pieces at the end here. There we go. As you can see, we've used a lot of money up from that section, probably because of the brakes. The brakes kind of cost a little, quite a bit of money, so. But, I mean, we could have cut it out of the budget, 
but you know probably not a good idea I still think we're making some decent time um, we still have a couple things here we got September and October left after August so we still have another two months to go um, so that's the, that is kind of the scary part now that I think about it yes it's August but that just means September and October is our only months left to get this right open or getting get it ready to go all right so how long, much is this going to cost us $63 for this track piece man track pieces are not cheap all right we're going to do a little bit of airtime moment here with a turn if that makes sense but we're running out of money basically all we got to do is do this turn and then connect it right up and I'm counting on my profits. Shops and facilities have not helped us out a lot. We need to get that uh, capacity back down for our staff building to a ma more manageable level. Because <clears throat> that's obviously costing us a couple hundred dollars. Alright, so we're just going to have to go in, I think, here. As much as I don't want to spend too much money at the same time, we're going to have to go in here and start getting some stuff done there's just no more way around it we gotta go can't gotta pace ourselves a little bit here all right we're gonna start lifting this up a bit so this turnaround's gonna kind of travel upwards a little All right, each of these costs $72. I do have to stop right there. I'm not going to be able to, to finish this up right away. We're going to have to wait till we get a little bit extra cash. So while we're waiting on that little extra cash, um, let's create. We need to we need to get a little a couple hundred more dollars. Um, as we, you can see, we're kind of grinding. I'm getting a little bit nervous now because there's still a couple more things I want to do, um, and that's obviously get more scenery around our queue line because our queue line. Is, it's actually at 72% right now, which isn't as bad as I thought it would be. But still, we're not in the spot where we want to be for that. How much does these cost? These only cost a dollar a piece, so we're good. These shouldn't really affect our, our stuff going in. And that'll make our queue line pop a little bit nicer. Alright, let's go ahead and continue this fence around. We're going to need to put a fence along this side as well eventually we might not have to worry about that but here in the early stages where we're just trying to uh, keep this park open we're gonna have to do that all right let's let's get a uh, let's get our entrance sign up and I think for this I think it'd be kind of cool to do some toolkit item letters group them all up together that way we can edit together easily. Make it a nice yellow color. Basically, I want to make sure there is a board here that supports all the letters. So all the letters here are not just floating. They're actually on something. There you go. All right, let's head to our signs. And this is gonna say, entrance. Set advertising destination for the coaster. You can see we're doing really well this month thus far. I'm sure ongoing guests are going to be excited to see it in motion. All right, target speed. Let's do the acceleration, deacceleration rate up a little bit, just in case it's at a high speed. And let's test this sucker out, actually. Let's get that second train on there first, and then go ahead and test it out. All right, I'm going to do seat view just for that for the purpose of some stuff. And if you know the wooden coasters, they are very bad when it comes to um, 
uh, friction, so that's something we're probably going to have to adjust right away, because it'll probably drag through this layout. But we want to see how well it's going to go on its first run here. <clears throat> Without the deacceleration, or without the friction stuff. Pretty slow. Pretty slow. Yeah, we're gonna have to change the friction up a little bit. It's pretty slow. Not by much, though. Not by much. We'll see if it can make it through even with the low speed here. I think it will make it. But with our first testing, we never go full speed right away. Yep, that's definitely slow. But it did make it through. And that's the most important part. The test results, the track length is long enough for our challenge to be complete. And we can actually claim the reward now, even though we haven't even opened the ride. So I'm gonna take that. All right, so let's go ahead and close it. We're gonna go ahead and set the friction multiplier. I'm gonna cut it in half, 2.5, which I think is one of the more realistic um, settings is 0.5. I'm sure those guests are really excited seeing this ride actually move and actually be in motion. Imagine being down there on, on the ground looking up at this thing going, Mommy, Daddy, it's moving, it's going, you know. Maybe, I don't know. All right, here we go. Down the first hill. Up into the first turnaround. Definitely has some better speed going through that. I was, we really want that excitement rating to be higher up. So hopefully we can get some good air time here. I can feel it a little bit. There's some, there's some solid pops of air time here. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. <clears throat> that was a pretty solid ride. I hope the excitement's high. And the excitement's 519, which is not too shabby. All right, being the name Thunder Jolt, let's go ahead and change some colors on our, on our ride here, so. Instead of going with the generic colors that come with it, let's go to our car color here. I want to change this red. Let's kind of go with that yellow vibe right there and there. And we're going to change that orange too. Let's make it a... Oh, wait. That's the uh, wrong thing. Make the padding black. I think that looks kind of good. And then as for the orange right here, I kind of want to fade it out just a little bit. I like the orange color idea, but I'm gonna fade it out. And I think the rest of the track actually looks pretty good for what we're going for. Perimeter fences are very important, and like I said, I do wanna keep this somewhat realistic if I can. Alright, we have his perimeter fence now. All the way around. Let's go ahead and work on our terrain a little bit. Make it look like this was somewhat under construction for a bit.
And we're going to add a few trees, foliage, such a lot, uh, stuff like that. These trees are a lot more expensive than you think. These trees are like 20 plus dollars each, so something we got to watch out for. All right, we don't have to completely fill this up, but I do want to have a good amount of foliage and trees in here. All right, we're getting close to, to opening. I think we're going to pause here with what we've got now. Look at this. All right, before we get too far into that simulation, we need to connect this. The, the ride needs to be somewhat connected with the rest of the park, so we gotta make it happen. Maybe do a little bit of a round off there. Just to add some character. And then we'll put one in, in the center as well. But we're gonna make a ton of money off this ride as soon as it opens, so I'm not too concerned. As we are about to conclude our first season of operation. <clears throat> All right, so they're getting ready. They're ready to open up. But a couple of finishing touches here. We're gonna add some park benches alongside here. We might add a few more um, lamp posts too. So let's grab a few more lamp posts here. Because we want some of those lamp posts going across the track here, or going across the path here, just to keep it nice and lit like the rest of the park. A bit more grass. All right, it's March 1st. Time to open up. Let's get rid of these fences. They're in our way. We're ready to open this section of the park up. Look at that, it's now ready for opening. Now we actually gotta real quick set our price, how much we wanna pay for this. So we have 1150 for Wild Blue, which I feel like this needs to be obviously a little bit more than that. So we're gonna go, we're gonna start at $14 a pop. All right, and we're also gonna raise our ticket prices to $10 and $6 for family members, so. And you can see the first riders are making their way to the ride to go ride Thunder Jolt. Look at that. All right, what else do we have? Achieve a park balance bonus of 40. Oh, we're at 39, look at that. We're actually really close to getting that. And we are gonna see a huge raise in our monthly profits for this coaster. And just because I am opening the ride doesn't mean I'm not gonna add more details later. I might add some minor details once we have some extra cash to spend. I might go in and add a few extra stuff. Now, since we had a major investment year, this second year, Going into year three is going to be kind of our off year, all right? So when I say off year, it doesn't mean we're not gonna add stuff. It means that we're going to make some general park improvements. We might add a shop or something like that. I might do some research and uh, maybe add some stuff. But uh, as you can see, opening day for Thunderbolt. Very exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and pause here and we can capture this moment of the ride opening for the first time where is chief beef look he's out, he already knows where the new ride is and where everyone's gonna be so he's at already back there ready to go there he is chief beef has thunder jolt 
Look at that. It is ready to open. That's just going to be a nice opening picture for the coaster. You can tell Chief Beef is excited for the opening as well. Look how excited he is. This is a huge milestone for this park. A huge milestone because <coughs> opening your first coaster is no easy feat. That's for sure. No easy feat. We take pride in what we do here in this park. And now... It's time to see how the guests are going to love the ride. Let's take a look. We're going to stand here on dock and see how they react as they get off the ride. There's the other train coming back. I wanted to make sure we had two train operation. That's for sure, something that I wanted to make sure we had on this coaster. Alright, how was it guys? The first riders. They look excited, happy. <coughs> I hope they enjoyed it. There goes the other train. Wow, this is great. Let's go ahead and get some cinematic shots of this. There we go. <clears throat> As this is a huge moment for the company. Huge moment. For our park and our franchise. Well, it's not really a franchise, but, you know. We're just a little family-owned, kind of locally-owned park. There they go. Look at that air time. This thunder jolt opens to the public. Who knows what we're going to be doing later on the line. There's going to be so much more coming to this park. The, the possibilities are endless. What a proud moment. Look how much money we've already made. Holy cow. We've already over $7,000. Let's take a look at our loans. We've already paid over half of it back, which is awesome. If we could pay that off, that would be great. Oh, we can pay it off, actually. We only got $3,734. We're going to pay off our loan. Alright, so we are now debt free and the rest is all <clears throat> is all profit from here now on. So that's gonna save us each month too, not having to pay back our loan. So we're gonna save on that. And let's go ahead and select our staff building. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down to five. And that will save us another $225. And now to get started, let's go ahead and train some of our staff a little bit too. It looks like this ride was a huge success for us. We were able to pay off our loan. We've made so much money already <clears throat> off of its opening month. We're already in the 4,000s. So that's, that's insane. And you can see that we have jumped to nearly a thousand guests in the park as well. What a great start to this park. Our second year of operation is underway and it looks to be our best yet as we are having some record numbers of profit for the month. Absolute record profit. And it was definitely worth it because just look at this. Let's look at this thing. This looks great. All right, and Let's see here. 
I was oh, I keep forgetting. I keep trying to figure out all the stats here. Track scenery rating is high, so the duration is a 71.7 second ride. Not too shabby. At least it's over a minute long. Track length of 1,829 feet. Max speed of 42 miles an hour. The largest drop is 57 feet. And you can see all of our G4 stats too. Pretty solid. Airtime count of six. Again, I always thought um, Planet Coaster's airtime count is kind of off, but um, still, to have six airtime counts on this ride for the short ride that it is, is actually pretty good, I think. That's pretty solid. You see the prestige is really high too. So that is a good thing for us. And this is gonna be a very profitable ride. You can see that we have potential income is $2,870 a month. That's gonna be a huge thing for us. Of course, we'll see how it does. We're gonna wait and see how it does its first month, profit-wise. Then after that, um, we're gonna see, my gosh, look at that profit, $9,000. Like I said, this is gonna be an off year so we can kind of build some momentum going into our next big investment. So we're gonna have a slight off year next year, <clears throat> which is totally fine. We're gonna fast forward just a pinch. We're not gonna fast forward very often in this series, but I just wanna see how this first month goes for Thunder Jolt. And we should be over with this month and let's see how we did for the month. It made $6,848 in its first month. That's absolutely insane. Let's take a look at our profits. $10,393, it's definitely a record for the company and everything like that. So look at the shops and facilities. Looks like hopefully we can get that in the positive someday. <clears throat> that is gonna be the hopes for that. Take a look at the challenges. We need to achieve that park bonus balance. But what a crazy, crazy journey this was for this coaster. We got it built. The first coaster in this park is now open for business. And as you can see, I like how uh, packed the park is, as in like slowly packed. And the guest flow in this park is so much better than I thought it would be. I figured it'd be pretty crowded but it actually is not that crowded. For having almost a thousand guests in this park, the paths are actually not that crowded. I think it's because there's just so many people in the queue lines and on the rides. So that's awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. And hopefully we'll get another episode out, out really, really quick. Have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys, and goodbye.